Hey collaborators, Logan here with this week's episode on six tremendously great 2020 marketing trends. <laughs> Ouch, you hyperbolic fiend. Man, these corporate people and their 2020 marketing trends, they are but a goodly apple, rotten at the heart. Well, here's what I'm doing, a real marketer, to do the best marketing that I can for my company and my clients this year. Hey collaborators, I know, I know, I just kicked that guy out for saying it, but it's kind of my thing. Anyway, this week's episode is all about what you need to consider as a small business owner or a marketer moving forward into 2020. So I've got six 2020 marketing things to consider. Um, the first thing that we're gonna consider is learning. So uh, we've all heard, you know, garbage in, garbage out. Uh, my philosophy is that we need to keep putting uh, new thoughts, new words, new vocabulary, new ideas into our brains in order to keep producing better marketing ideas and better uh, products for our clients. So um, one thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to, to read more, even if it's just about my kids. So uh, here's, here's a great book about kids. Uh, I've also got uh, local literature. So uh, Minnesota Christmas Anthology. Actually, this is my grandma's book. Found that at my parents' house. Don't know if you can find this anywhere online or in a library, but uh, it's a nice anthology of Minnesota writers, but as far as marketing goes, books like Unmarketing, The Creative Habit, Influencer, How to Write and Sell Simple Information. So they don't have to be like the marketing book of the season. Like we can go back to books from, from Ogilvy or from uh, some of these marketers of the olden times from the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and 40s and even some of the research work that was done in the 20s and 30s on, on factories and things like that. So it doesn't have to be the, the trendy influencer marketing or things like that. We need to get back to back to basics, just learning more about ourselves, learning more about people and who our clients are and getting a better information. So you don't have to agree with everything that you read. You just need to read it, understand it and digest it. Just like you don't have to like everything you eat. <laughs> So um, next up, my number two, the so number two of the 2020 marketing things to consider is brand. So when you're looking at your store or your office and you look at your website, are people getting the same impression of you when they get, go to both? So your customer is your best marketer. You wanna make sure that they're, they're feeling the same about you no matter where you are. So you wanna make sure that your product or your service drives home your values, not the values that you made in a focus group the values that you and your salespeople, you and your office staff are exuding every day. How do you treat your customers? How do you treat each other on a day-to-day -day basis? How do you go about sourcing your products? What decisions, what do you base your decisions on when you're sourcing your products? Make sure that those values are front and center every day in both the bricks and the clicks, the store and the, and the online presence. So. Another thing to consider for brand is uh, there's an anthropologist, a Robin Dunbar, who studied how social groups work. So generally speaking, humans have social groups uh, that are about 150 people large. These are the people that you wouldn't be embarrassed to grab a drink with if you ran into them at a bar. It wouldn't be awkward. So it's not exact, but that's about the number of real relationships that you can maintain, you know, former coworkers, former uh, classmates, family members, friends. So when you're running your business, who are your, who's your social group in your business? Who are your 150 clients or customers who are your core, who you can uh, reach out to and talk to? Build those 150 up, create those values, build that brand with them, and they will spread that brand to their 150 social. So another thing to consider for 2020. Also, uh, number three for 2020 marketing things to consider is control. Visitor and client data collection control privacy. These are huge issues right now. You've heard of GDPR from Europe, the General Data Protection Regulation. It's a privacy law that went into effect in spring 2018. California's Consumer Privacy Act, that is going into effect here in January 2020. These are both generally affect larger businesses and obviously the European one affects those who sell to Europeans, even if they're in America, if you sell to Europeans, but also, like I said, larger businesses. So, you know, hardware, you know, the local hardware hang is not going to be affected by either of these, but the corporate arm would be. So, sorry, a local hardware store wouldn't be affected by these. But it's on people's minds. People want to be able to control who has their information. 
Um, so make it easy for them. So when you've got a call to action on your website, only ask for what you need. So if it's, you know, you need their name and you need their email, you know, you don't need to know their, uh, their business name or their, uh, Sometimes you don't even need to know their last name necessarily. Get the information that you need to be able to uh, send them the information that they are asking for. Your quote or uh, a white paper or whatever it is that you're sending to them. Make sure that you're collecting the data properly um, and that if they want it removed, they can get it removed. Whether that's through like an unsubscribe link on a MailChimp email or if they can on your website or on your farm form, it says we'd like for us to remove your information from our database, please click here or send us a message here or call us here. Make sure that that data, that privacy options are available to people because um, that's gonna build uh, trust for you. So uh, point number four for my 2020 marketing things to consider are is trust. So building trust is really important to any relationship. So on your website, when people go to it, does it look janky? Does it look like it was built in 1989? Does it have the uh, secured green lock symbol in the corner that says you have an SSL installed? Is it mobile friendly? Is it mobile first? So that people can access it easily through their mobile device. Is it optimized? Is it fast so that they don't have to sit there and wait for it? They're gonna trust you more if it's fast, if it's secure, if it's easy to access on their mobile device. These are all trust factors that just click in people's brains subconsciously. I mean, it's not even like it's trust, it's like the opposite way. If it's not those things, they start to not trust you. It's just like, this is what we expect and you and you don't deliver it, then it starts to be a non-trust thing. So the other, uh, other part of that is your business listing. So your Google My Business, your Facebook page, LinkedIn page, wherever your people are going and expecting to see you, are they seeing the same colors, the same branding, the same logos? Are they getting, uh, all of them have the same phone number, the same email, the same address, the same web address? Because if they're slightly different or if there's a one phone number here and one phone number there, that starts to breed mistrust as well. And if they're uh, wrong and they try to get a hold of you and they can't, you're losing trust there as well. So trust is really important so that people know that they can turn to you when they need to, to get what they need. It's that simple. The number five 2020 marketing thing to consider is connection. So uh, you want to speak to people the way that they want to be spoken to. Uh, do they want to read you know, longer articles from you? Do they want to see just short tweets of information? Do they want uh, videos like this? If they're getting you know, a video like this, is there closed captions available right here? So if the closed caption button, you'll see the closed captions appear right here. Maybe you're on the, maybe you're in the bathroom right now. Hi, and you don't want the audio on because you're in a public bathroom. Closed captions. That's why I put those there so that people don't have to listen to my stupid voice. So make sure that you're connecting to people the way that they want to be connected to. If all of your people, uh, a lot of your people are on, you know, Reddit. Be on Reddit. You know, it's not. I know it's like, oh, it's that simple, but people can be in lots of different places. You need to be sure to be where they are. So. Um, whether you have to pay for advertising to be there, um, or if you can organically be there, or you can make sure that you're showing up when they're trying to find you. If they're on Facebook and they're expecting to find a page for you, you should at least have a page there that links back to your website and has your phone number and all that data to build that trust. The number six 2020 marketing thing to consider is the basics. Get back to the basics. Make sure that your web presence is taken care of. That's gonna help build all those other pieces, connection, trust, control, brand, learning. Watch our Marketing Monday videos. We've got about uh, 10 of them online right now. Uh, and the next year we're gonna put out 36 more in 2020. We're gonna do three weeks on, one week off, three weeks on, one week off. So you see a little bit less of us this year, but we're gonna try to build them up. So watch our Marketing Monday videos, get your basics right with your technical SEO, uh, with your, getting your website set up in Search Console, Google My Business, Facebook, get all that the basic stuff right so that you, you can really start doing marketing because you're, you can't start doing all the fancy marketing until you've got the groundwork laid. Um, and that's what these Marketing Monday videos are about is to get you up to a point where you can actually start to do bigger pieces of marketing. So my, my 2020 marketing things to consider are just get the basics right trust, connection, control, brand, and learning. All right, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching our 2020 Marketing Things to Consider video. Um, 
Check out uh, our other marketing money videos on the right. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook or elsewhere, um, check the link in the description for our playlist. Um, and thanks for watching a lot. It means a lot. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year.